So right now, one of the big things I know that that's really um, a buzz is rural health. So if we can begin begin by talking about that topic, um, eighty out of the hundred counties are considered rural in North Carolina, and then within those counties, uh, the majority and often the largest employers, uh, local government or a state uh, organization. Mm -hmm. So indirectly, you are working in those communities. Can you explain a little bit about the role that that the, the Treasury Department plays in the local communities through the retirement system and the employment system? Mm -hmm. In particular, what are the challenges with that? Well, there are a lot of challenges. I was just uh, on an interview with somebody with the Washington Post and they were asking me about you know, the Treasurer's office. And I said, well, if you've seen one Treasurer's office, you've seen one Treasurer's office. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's no Treasurer's office in the United States that's constructed the way this one yeah. has. Former treasurer Harlan Bowles, who many of your viewers are familiar with, considered the best state treasurer of the 20th century, not just here, but the United States. This was his very lapel pin. And in the his book, Keeper of the Public Purse, on page 143, and by the way, anytime I'm around Richard Petty and you mentioned number one and 43 in the same sentence, he's all about that. So he's still you got him. But uh, on page 143, uh, it said that the state treasurer in North Carolina has more statutory duties and responsibilities than any other elected official in the state except for the governor, and the governor has control of the National Guard. So how does that relate to your question? Uh, we all know what the census has most recently told us about North Carolina, how strong our torso is, that being Asheville, Charlotte, uh, tri Triad, Triangle, uh, Wilmington area, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, rural North Carolina is what I consider the legs and the arms, the toes and the fingers of our state. And those communities are, are suffering mightily during the, the census process. And, uh, you know, for those communities to have uh, low cost energy, uh, low cost uh, clean water and sewer uh, and uh, access to quality, low cost uh, health care is very, very important. It's more important because one of the 21... Two of the other 21 hats that I wear is one of the is, is chair of the state banking commission. And we have a lot of banking going community bank uh, opportunities in rural North Carolina. Uh, but the second reason that I mentioned that is that um, is uh, on the state health plan side. And as the chair of the local government commission, uh, where all these uh, hospitals and other counties and cities have to come before us to borrow money. Very good. So on, on the, uh, and the pension plan in the communities, uh, really large, really impactful. <clears throat> and then with the number of rural communities, and our rural communities tend to be a bit older. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, mainly, and I don't say that in, in deference to anyone, it's just that they're depopulating. Mm -hmm. So anytime you're depopulating, statistically, generally speaking, your communities are getting older. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So so a lot of our retirees out there uh, live in a lot of those communities. So it's... Um, you know, the, this is a beautiful state and the beauty of it is, it is a rural and urban state, but rural is the majority of the land of this, you know, that why so many people want to move to North Carolina. It's just a beautiful place to be. Let me briefly put this in the context of volunteer firefighting, which is not within the purview of your organization. No, no, it's great. But while we're sitting here having this uh, tea with the treasurer. Right, absolutely. By the way, you got to take a sip. <laughs> Do it. Yes. You're vouching? I just took Okay, my, he's vouching so, for the tea. Uh, here we go. So, uh, see, all right, still, still standing, still standing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, while we're sitting here having tea with the treasurer, uh, 75 percent, 75 percent of the fire protection of North Carolina's landmass is being provided to us by volunteers, which means there's no incorporated cities, no fire, no city fire departments. That just gives you an idea to your point about 80% of North Carolina's rule. When you look at that in relation to volunteer firefighters, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, absolutely. 